G'day, this is Alistair Christie, and today we're going to have a look at the on set text event available on fields. Previously we've looked at on get text, so this rounds things off nicely. Specifically, we're going to write an event that allows us greater flexibility when we're entering dates into data aware controls. So let's do this now. I'm just going to start by adding a DB grid. Oops, a data source and a client data set. And if we um, link these together, and in our client data set we go find a file, I'm just going to use orders, and that's just easily found in program files, code gear, code, or common files, code gear shared data. Um, or it may be different on your machine. And active to true. This makes it a little bit bigger. And what I want to do is if we run this, uh, we can change the dates. And if I make this 01 slash 01 slash 08, that works fine. But I can't go 01, 01, 08, for instance. It's not a date time. Or I can't say today, for instance. Now, if we want to be able to do that, we need to go into our client data set and we need all the fields and we're playing on the sale date. And if we go into the on set text event. Now earlier I've prefer, um, prepared this magic string to date function which just takes a string and returns a date and it's a bit messy but it'll suffice um, for this example. And if we have a Try so if we fail with our conversion, we'll just do what um, we, what would have happened normally, and If you run this, I can go 010108 or today, tomorrow, or I can go plus seven, plus one week, and so on, minus 13 days. Um, so we're able to make the date date entry field a lot um, more flexible just by modifying the um, on set text event. Um, and that's all I wanted to cover. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you have found this video interesting and useful, and I'll catch you next time.